Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a great weekend and looking forward to a profitable week. Uh, gold trading about 17.30. Uh, we expect to see the, the week to trade in a kind of uh, narrow band due to people hoping against hope that the Europeans will get their act together. Uh, central bank buying was up dramatically in the third quarter, up 148 metric tons which is the biggest net increase, so that's a net increase of 148.4 tons since the data started being kept in 19, excuse me, in 2002. The South Korean bank has been one of the outstanding buyers of gold in through here. Uh, Angela Merkel uh, considers that uh, we are we need to, that they need to move toward a legally enforceable uh, fiscal union. The reason for this is that uh, in order to control the present circumstance and to end it and to move forward over the next decade, which she considers the time horizon of the resolution of this matter, uh, there needs to be much stronger non-treaty uh, enforceable provisions in place between the relevant countries. As you know, we've discussed frequently that the Germans don't feel that they should bail out the French banks. The French, bank, French banks have been the biggest buyers of sucker paper. That is Ireland, Italy, Spain, and Greece. And as a consequence, those banks are facing deep liquidity crises. That's why we saw what happened the other week happen. Interbank lending is not frozen anymore, but it is in fact in a very difficult patch and extremely pricey. Interbank lending, of course, is the lending between the actual uh, financial institutions themselves. Uh, lastly, uh, <clears throat> The, there's been an 8 billion euro, 8 billion euros in, in European Central Bank lending. Uh, and that has helped to uh, lessen the impact of the credit crunch. Remember, when banks get into these difficulties, they don't lend. And so we're seeing this even beginning to, to affect the Germans. So what this will do will continue to push the Eurozone deeper into deeper into depression and recession. Indeed, this uh, is a sign that, um, another sign that the U.S. economy is very blessed in the sense that it's not overly dependent upon Europe. The big losers in the European crunch are going to be the Chinese. Chinese are big net sellers, big net exporters uh, into Europe, just as they are here. Uh, but it's going to hurt them more because a dramatic number of their serious dollar imports uh, in the road building and infrastructure area are going to be crunched. So this is Arnie Waters. We're aiming for the ice flows. Have a great week. I look for gold to trade in this narrow range until the euro meeting on the ninth is over. This is Arnie Waters. Have a great day.